I'm strictly hip hop and I'm just like lost in the game right now, but I ain't gonna stop. I'm gonna keep bringing them hits and keep doing what I do best. I started spitting when I was 12. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I always knew I was going to be in the industry doing something. I just didn't know when and what I was going to do. Back in the day, the name of the hood was Champagne. <laughs> and um, as I got older and I started spitting and, you know, flossing my little style, I just chopped it down to Champ causing pain. And then it was Champ, Champ MC. Where I'm from, Eden War is my grounds. You heard me? In the BX. Sisters, open up your eyes and relate. Purpose for the pain of the love and the hate. Concentrate and use your brain. You said you changed, but you still remain the same. Yeah, the first deal. And East West was the first record label. How I got the deal was hit an open mic show. And um, it was real up in there. Just real hip hop. A lot of a and R's, a lot of hip hop heads. At the time, that's me. I was coming out, Biggie was coming out. He he introduced me on stage and he was performing party and bullshit. They I performed um I think stressing me and from there I got signed. First solo album, Ghetto Flavor. First female artist to do an East Coast, West Coast album. The first female New York artist with six four cars in the video. And When I left East West Records, um, I still was working on music, and at the time we we was working on a compilation album, man. And the compilation album, that's where I met the Venoms at. Entice, Finesse, J Boo. We had a lot of outside Venoms, but we was the, like the main clique. You know what I'm saying? How many albums I got, and they just like they out there, but I ain't eating off of them. You know what I'm saying? Like the Venoms had three albums. The first one I think was self-titled Deadly Venom. Then we had the Antidote, and then we had Still Standing. We've been through a lot of ups and downs, and with labels, with each other, a lot of emotional moments. You know what I'm saying? And I guess that's what kept us close and kind of strong even though we're not together at this point in time.